Hiya guys and girls, it's Talon here, back with another Train Simulator review. The one we're looking at today is this one, which is BR Blue Diesel Electric Pack Loco Add-on. reason I'm starting this video this way is because there are two that are named very, very similar. So if I do a quick search for Train Simulator Blue, there's also one, which is this one here, which is BR Blue Pack Loco Add-on. This one's going to be Diesel Electric Pack. Okay, keep that in mind. So we will just have a look at the features really quickly before we jump in. It's a huge, huge pack. The other one is as well. The scenarios are for the Chatham mainline. I don't have that, so I won't be covering those. But the key features, which is what I'm always interested in. BR Class 09 in BR Blue. Class 33 BR Blue. 73 in BR Blue. 416 in BR Blue. <laughs> and the 421 in BR Blue. There's also a couple of uh, GUVs as well, so we'll jump in and have a look at those. Now, to begin, what confuses me every single time I try and use these is, if we jump to the right-hand side here, if you don't know how to use uh, scenarios, check out my other videos for that. Um, they're both listed under DTG, both of these packs. This one is going to be BR Blue Pack 02. 01 will be the blue pack, the electric pack is 02. Anyway, so I'll be loading that up. There we go, and now we can have a look at the engines. So, they are going to be all under these, BR B2s. So, there's not really a huge amount for me to say about all of these, but it will certainly give them all a look. So here we go with the Class 09, and I'm very happy with the Class 09. Personally, I prefer the 08, which I've got in a different pack, but, you know, it's a decent representation. There's a lot of nice detail on this. There's a sort of minor amount of weathering to the front, which I quite like. It's a fairly generic engine, but, yeah, it's, it's great. You know, it's, it's a nice little Class 09. Next up, we have the 33. Out of this whole pack, the 33 is probably the one I've used most. So here we go with the 33. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments. I've got no idea what the ND means. I've seen it on quite a few uh, different um, engines, but there are two different ones. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it might be no, des no destination, but anyway, so yeah, it's, it's a very, very nice model of the 33 here. The numbers on these do generate every time you do it, but as with everything, you can come over here if you want uh, 33014, just change the number there, and you'll see it's changed on the side, so, yeah, very, very nice. So that's the 33. A lot of these are fairly generic, I have to admit, but if you want a huge collection without spending a massive amount of money of, of BR engines, then that's great. So the 416 is the oddity of the lot. And this one, I haven't actually found a huge amount of things to use this in, because it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the rest group. There are consists for this as a two car, which we can dump over the back here. We'll have a proper look in a second. And underneath it is the four car, which is just two of those put next to each other. But we can have a look anyway. So slightly older in style and in, uh, in livery from the others. It's, again, you know, just a decent little representation. I love the pipe work on the front. If we nip inside the cab here, it's, yeah, as good as you could expect, really, you know, so, there's the 416, and next up, if I just get rid of that, so I'm just going in order here, right, will be the 73, if I can find it, here we are, 73, now the 73, I've had problems using, um, the electric version, for some reason, I couldn't actually get to run. That might have been because of the route I was using it on. But, yeah. To be honest, it's... A, same with all the rest of this DLC. It's just a very nicely modelled little engine. Very, very nicely modelled. So there's that one. And finally, the one that uh, I didn't particularly need is the 421. Which, I'll try and grab the 4 car one in blue and grey. So you can see, you know, between the engines that, that it gives you, it's a, it's plenty of selection to actually do a um, to actually do some pretty good scenarios, you know. So on top of that, we do have a couple of other things. We've got uh, the uh, wagons. If I can find those really quickly, see so up the top here. Da -da -da. Yeah, so we've got a Blue Express parcels, which is that one. Now that I've got in another pack anyway. Uh, there's also blue newspapers, which I don't have another pack, which is that one, so that's quite a nice little feature, to be fair, because you don't see the newspaper one especially very often at all. 
Uh, next up we have the OBA empty and finally the OBA loaded. So it comes with a massive amount, you know, I mean, certainly if you're brand new to scenario creation, you want something to play around with, this will give you a massive variety of engines very, very quickly. Now, there is one thing we will look at very quickly, which is this. Now, the 421, the reason I wasn't overly enamored about it was because I've already got the class 421 DLC, four sig DLC, which again, you can find my review for in a different video. Is there a difference? Well, yeah, actually there is. And... I'm a little bit 50-50 on which I prefer, so here's the class 421 on the right here from the 421 DLC pack, and what you'll notice isn't so much the look of the engine, yeah, you know, it's got a slightly different looking front to it, but what I like about the one that comes with the, uh, the Blue Diesel Electric pack is it's far more weathered. This one in the 421 is just, a, it's just too clean. I remember catching these, and they were never this clean in service. They were always <laughs> really weather-beaten, which means that you know the one that comes with the with the diesel electric pack is just a, it's a faded down. If I can back to a, a sort of different carriage because of those, it's just a faded down blue and gr uh, blue and grey, which is more what I'd expect to see. And because of that, I actually really like the one that comes with this pack. You know, yeah, you can see it from this end as well. It's just toned down. If you want one that's just come out of the paint shop, then by all means, you know, the 421 DLC one's absolutely great. If you want one that actually looks like it's been in service for 10 years, yeah, by all means use this. So, there's pros and cons of each. There's no difference actually driving the things, they're both acting exactly the same. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it's a decent price DLC for what you get. And again, if you want to start doing some scenarios with, uh, with BR Blue stuff, you can't really go wrong. Anyway guys, hope that helped. I'll see you for the next one.